Welcome to Structural Analysis Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to see another topic in trusses. Now in this class we will solve problems on static indeterminacy of planar or 2D trusses. Before I move on I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on trusses in sequence so that you understand better. The playlist on trusses is in the description below or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now coming to the today's class, let us find the total static indeterminacy ds of this 2D truss. Then we will find the external indeterminacy dse of this truss. Then we will find internal indeterminacy dsi of this truss. Okay. Now m is the number of members, r is the total number of reactions on external supports, j is the number of joints. DS the formula for static indeterminacy or total static indeterminacy is M plus R minus 2 times J 2 times number of joints then external static indeterminacy is given by R minus 3 total number of reactions on supports minus 3 in case of 2D trusses and internal is internal indeterminacy is total static indeterminacy minus external okay so this minus this will give us internal indeterminacy okay now let us calculate the m m is the number of members some books also write it as b okay b number of bars or number of members okay now let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so total number of members are 13. Now, number of reactions R is the number of reactions on supports. Now, this is a pin support. We have two reactions on a pin support, and this is a roller. We only have one. So, how, how many are the total? Total is 1, 2, and 3. So R is 3. Okay. Now this is J. Okay. J is the number of joints. Let's count the number of joints. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of joints are 8. So let's calculate the static intermittency. It is 13 plus 3 minus 2 times of 8 right now 13 plus 3 is what 13 plus 3 is 16 and 16 minus 8 2 is 16 so 16 minus 16 is 0 okay so the static intermittency for this truss is 0 now calculate external intermittency r is 3 minus 3 right so 3 minus 3 is 0 so external intermittency is 0 now internal is ds minus dse so 0 minus 0 is 0 okay this is 0 minus 0 it is 0 okay so for this 2d or planar truss the total static intermittency is 0 the external static intermittency is 0 and the internal static intermittency is 0 okay now let's move on now let's talk about this let's first calculate the number of members now before I tell you now let me tell you this how many members are these like this and this they are only two okay this member is one and this member is two okay this is not a joint this is just they are overlapping with each other okay so this point is not a joint okay so let's count M or B number of bars or number of members it is one two three four five six 7 8 no number of members are 8 right now number of reactions now this is a pin we have two reactions here on a pin this is also a pin we have two reactions here now if you don't know why there are two reactions for a pin and why there is only one reaction for a roller please watch me video lectures on supports and their reactions okay you want to stand there better right now just remember for a pin support there are two reactions and for a roller there are only one reaction okay so how many are total one two three four and five okay r is five 
So J is the number of joints. It is 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember this is not a joint. And this is 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of joints are 5, okay? Now M plus R is 8 plus 5, right? This is 8 plus 5 minus 2 times J, 2 times of J is 5, 2 times of 5, right? Now 8 plus 5 is how much? 8 plus 5 is 13 and 5 2 is 10. Now 13 minus 10 is 3, okay? So the total static indeterminacy of this planar or 2D truss is 3, right? Now DSE, external inter static indeterminacy is what? R minus 3, it is 5. R is 5 minus 3 and it is 2 okay now internal is static minus external right so it is 3 minus 2 right 3 minus 2 so 3 minus 2 is how much 1 okay so when the this is total is 3 okay and from the total we have 2 is external interference and 1 is internal right so 2 plus 1 is 3 right so 3 is the total and 2 is external 1 is integral okay so let's move on to another problem now let's calculate m remember this this and this this is not a joint okay so m is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 m is 11 now number of reactions this is a pin support there are two reactions here and this is roller one reaction so 1 2 and 3 is r now j is the number of joints 1 2 remember this is not a joint 3 4 also remember this is not a joint 5 6 right let me count again 1 2 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, what is the value of M plus R? M plus R is 11 plus 3. 11 plus 3 minus 2 times J is 6, right? 2 times 6. Now, 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 minus 6, 2 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2, okay? So, the total static interference is 2. Now, let us calculate external. It is R is 3 minus 3. It is 0 now let's calculate internal internal is total minus external right so it is 2 minus 0 it is 2 and this is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so the inter indeterminacy in this truss is why it is because only due to internal inter indeterminacy right this 2d truss is externally determinate there is no external indeterminacy but internally it is uh, indeterminate by the degree of 2 this is the reason this is statically indeterminate okay so let's move on now remember these two they are not joints right so let's calculate m first number of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 right r it is 2 at the roller and one, uh, 2 at the pins and 1 at the roller so 2 plus 1 is 3 number of joints 1 2 3 4 5 6 right now m plus r is 11 plus 3 minus 2 times 6 now 11 plus 3 is 14 14 minus 2 6 is 12 14 minus 12 is 2 so degree of static interference is 2 and external is how much r is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 and internal is what total minus external 2 minus 0 right because total is 2 and external is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so in this also this 2d frame is indeterminate why it is because it is internally indeterminate externally it is determinate right because 
external determinancy is zero degree of external determinancy is zero it means it is externally determinate but internally the degree of internal indeterminacy is two so it is internally indeterminate by the degree of two this is the reason this is statically indeterminate okay so i think that's it this is how we find the static indeterminacy in 2d or planar trusses if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you